Hello, welcome to the demo of Image Plane Manager. Uh, after you've installed the tool, you should have a button in your shelf, which we can click on, and it will open up the UI. Right now, we don't have any image planes in the scene. So, we'll click on Import New, and I get this UI here, where I can choose the camera that I want to attach it to. Let me choose my shot camera, and I click on Browse, and let's use Forest. I don't see it because I'm not looking through my shot camera right now, I'm having a perspective. So in this UI I can just select my camera here, look through it and now I'm in my shot camera and can see the image plane. Uh, down here all the sliders to adjust the image plane like brightness, uh, opacity, brightness, um, size, make it small. let's make it um, so we can actually see it. Um, offset X and Y, like easy, this slider. Um, I made this, uh, it will automatically detect if you have an image plane or a movie. I will show you in a few minutes. But what's great, uh, it's only in the pro version, but you can, have a, you can create a mover which makes you uh, move your image plane like any other object in your scene. And let me show you. I click on Move and Scale. And right now I get a manipulator here. So I can simply scale my image plane up and down. My mouse is a little dragging, but oh, you get the gist of it. Uh, you have like your attribute idea, you can just type in 0.8 and scale it up. Um, you can move your image plane around like free in your moon, align it really nice, and it's great like this. Um, you can create, let's create a new one so I can show you the image plane. Let's create import a new. Uh, I'm gonna attach it to my front chip now. Browse and I will import an image plane. Here, I have image plane selected. Selected, looks selected. Uh, selected here, Kung Fu. Selected, look through. I am looking through the front camera now. And immediately I have an image sequence. What's happening right now? Nice. Okay, now I see it. It just wasn't long enough. I can see my image sequence. Um, another great tool. Let's just quickly scale a little bit. It's a little big. And move it to one side. Usually it's like nice to um, have it in one angle. Let's say I wanted to move it to a different camera. I made a mistake and I don't want to have it in front camera. I want it in my shot camera too. So in the pro version, you can also retarget the image plane. And you have this little UI here. You simply, once it's in the selection here, um, you just simply choose the camera you want to retarget it to, like here, shot camera. Click on retarget. Retarget it from perspective, uh, front to shot, yes. And it's gone. Select it here, you can select the camera, look through, and we have it in our shot camera. Well, it's behind our um, tree now. So we just select it, um, move it, and move it somewhere we can see it. And yeah, it's in our shot camera. Very easy also to delete them. Let's say I don't want my forest anymore. I simply hit delete. Delete forest, yes gone from the selection, I can select this one here and move it up where I want it to. So this is a quick demo. You can also duplicate your image plane. And you have now come for two shape. Select this, move it. Yeah, now we have two. Yeah, quick demo. Uh, I think it's a very hopefully very useful tool for you. It saves me a lot of time creating image planes um, and aligning them. Um, have fun and please send me an email if you have any questions.